In this video, we're going to build a snack bar and a toast. So if you don't know what a snack bar is, or if you don't know what a toast is, in this video, we're going to learn. So here's our app. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run it. We have an image view there. We got a title and some text. We've been working on this video on this app for the past couple of videos. So if you haven't seen the previous, uh, ser the previous tutorials, you can go back and see them, but here it is. But what I want to do is I want to display a little alert at the a little uh, alert at the bottom. So let's just sh I'll just show you how to do that. So I'm going to open up main activity, and if it's not open, you can open up. You can select Android there and go to app Java, the first one there, whatever you named it, and then click on main activity. And first of all, I'm just going to get rid of all of this stuff that we don't need. So just just delete delete all of that stuff. So now it should look like this. And you'll notice there's some stuff at the top. You can open or close that. I'm just going to close that. Don't worry about that. But now your main activity should look like this. So just delete all that stuff that I just deleted. Okay, cool. What I want to do is I want to build, first let's do a toast, because that's a little bit easier, I guess. So let's do this. So inside of create activity, look for set support action bar. And let's, let's go to the end of there. And let's make some space, just, just to give you some space. And let's do type toast. Uh, then you'll see how it open, uh, prompts you there for toast. Um, if you just start typing a little bit of it, so toast, and then hit enter, it'll automatically import it for you. And then let's do dots. And when you put a dot, it'll, it'll, it's kind of like autocomplete on Google. You can like see what, what you can type out. So let's start typing make text. That's good. I'm going to hit enter. We'll type out this. Uh, then we'll put a comma. Uh, then this is going to be our message. So the message will be, the message will be, um, we'll do in quotes, do welcome. Let's do welcome to my app. And I think there's one more thing we need to do. So in the quotes there, put a comma and do toast.length. And uh, then it has either, either length long or like sh length short. So we'll start with length short. Okay, so very good. Uh, then at the end of this, do uh, after your closing pre uh, parenthesis, do cl dot show. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And so we have a toast dot make text. We pass in this. We have a little message with inside of quotes. And uh, then we have how long we want it to show. And uh, then we show it at the last. So I'm going to go ahead and save it and run it. And let's go back to here. And let's see. And see, it says, welcome to my app down there at the bottom. And then it goes away. So it goes away after length long. So that's about, that's, that's, I can actually uh, control click on it. And actually, it doesn't really work, so never mind. We won't get into that now. But I think it's like four or five, it's like two or three seconds, basically. It's like two or three seconds. So one more time, I'm going to run it, go to the emulator. And then I'm going to see the toast at the bottom there, welcome to my app. Okay, so that's very cool, but say what we want to do is whenever you click on the welcome to our app, it has the toast at the bottom there. So we click on the welcome to our app and it shows a toast. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to content main and that's inside of resources, layouts, and then content main. The first thing we need to do is we need to give our welcome to our app an ID. So go ahead and click on that. And right now the ID is text view. And that, that's, that'll actually work just fine. So it's text view. We'll just use that. So you, again, click on welcome to our app, open up the uh, attributes on the right, and then you'll see text view right there. That, that can be named anything you want it to be named, but right now it's called text view. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as text view. Okay. So let's come here and let's go, let's go right before our toast line. Let's do text view. And again, whoops, I messed up text view. And you'll notice that it automatically prompts you for, it's kind of like autocomplete again. So it says text you there. Sure enough, double click it. It, it, it finishes it for you. And let's do this. Let's do dot set on click listener. And then it's this option right here with the brackets, or you can just type it out. Either way is fine. I'm going to put enter. And then I'm going to take this line right there and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it inside of those two brackets. So I'm going to put it between that bracket and between that bracket there. Okay. So every time the text view gets a click, it will do that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and save it and run it. And let's go back to the emulator. Now we don't see the toast at the bottom there, but as soon as I click on welcome to our app, there it is, it shows up there. So this could have many applications. It could say, you could like click to refresh something and it says welcome to my app, or it could say um, updating content or whatever. It could, it could be used for just about anything. So uh, I think in the next video, we'll probably make a snack bar, which is a little bit different. Um, so hopefully you'll learn something if you subscribe. I have videos. I try to post videos every couple of weeks. I know it's been a couple of months since I've built, since I've made my last video. I do work full time, so I'm kind of super busy at work. I get to work in the morning and the evening comes. I'm done with work and then I just kind of feel tired and don't really feel like doing videos all the time. But these videos are kind of cool and I'm really glad that I do them. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.